Welcome back to who Castantino's rants. I am Castantino as usual, and this is part two of the massacre that is Batman v Superman. When last we left off, I was talking about Lex Luthor. Um, this fucking Lex is just fucking. You want to know? While watching this movie, while watching this movie, I was like, this is like a the Batman Forever Riddler ripoff of Lex Luthor. No. No. 100% wrong. You want to know who this is a ripoff of? You want to know? <clears throat> I'll show you. I'll show you. Lex Luthor, in this movie... Is the ultimate warrior. If Lex Luthor got hit with venom, he would be the fucking ultimate warrior. The way he acts, the way he just freaking freaks out, it is like you are seriously expecting him to talk about putting in the rocket fuel in the... The spaceship! I'm launching at test base! Ah! Seriously, the whole damn time! The whole, it's like halfway through, I'm like, I, I happen to look over, I saw this. Look at this, look at this. He's got the freaking crazy hair. It, it, it's like he doesn't have the abs because Jesse Eisenberg w would never have abs. He's like a freaking scrawny little goddamn... He's like freaking Jonathan Crane skinny. But... But seriously, this is your freaking Lex Luthor. I probably made it better, the movie better for some people, just for that. But this is this is Lex Luthor. Fucking this. Talking, screaming about out Granny's peach tea stuff. But I I want to put up. A Jolly Roger in front of Superman's mouth. Ah! That's it. Oh my God. <coughs> oh my God. That's basically the whole thing. Lex Luthor in this movie is the ultimate warrior. Slim down. Oh my God. Okay, so he, he's trying to get the kryptonite, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm skipping a ton of padding. I, I really am. Like, uh, I, a bunch of this happened. Like, half of my first page of notes happened. Oh, yes, I, I forgot. Someone, one of my friends I was talking to about this so wonderfully pointed out that Reminded me that Zack Snyder once mentioned he wanted to have Batman raped in one of his movies. Why do you people like this guy? Anyway. So there's an illegal MMA fight scene going on because Bat Bruce is trying to find the Russian to find out who the white Portugal is. While you got a bunch of guys in t-shirts uh, and stuff, no one really fancy. And then there's Bruce. Bruce Wayne is either in two things. He's either in a suit of some level, whether it's jackets off and he, he's just in the button-down out shirt, or he's full ensemble, or he's in the bat suit, which I will get to later. Gee, he sticks out like a sore thumb in this place. I mean, it is, oh my god, it's ridiculous. It is 100% ridiculous. Oh, god, I just cannot tell, say how freaking stupid that was and it amounted to nothing. 
it amounted to nothing. Batman's introduction, where he's beating up a guy and then brands him. The whole bat branding thing. <sighs> freaking hell. That's what you do for freaking when you're selling merchandise, dumbass. <sighs> God damn it. Freaking Batman's as bad at branding as freaking CBS and Lucasfilm. Hey yo! Let's see. Oh, yeah, Perry telling Clark to... The scene where Perry tells um, Clark to do... This was a padding scene, but I, th I marked it down because it was freaking hilarious to me. Perry telling Clark to cover the football game. And Clark going, no, it's more important to cover the Batman thing. To which Perry replies, I says, yeah, next, yeah, yeah, next article I want you to do, water wet. Because it's Gotham. Um, so, ugh. So, it's, 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 everybody's a hypocrite. I think this movie is so full of hypocritical moments, it's ridiculous. Whether it's Clark talking about how um, Batman's subverting everybody's rights, yet he's flying around, be, his first thing that he does to everyone is like go total brutality on them. He doesn't freaking, it's not until the end, end of the movie same thing with Lex here, where he freaking, freaking actually starts acting like Superman. Batman never acts like Batman in this whole fucking movie. Which is a shame because it's the only damn movie that really pushes the detective part of Batman. Go figure. Um, yeah, yeah. Fucking hell. So weird. The, the one movie that Batman's in that I've watched. No, there are two movies I've seen where Batman actually shows, like one hundred percent. That well, not one hundred percent. His detective qualities. It's this one which I did not like, not hated, not hate. I want to stress that not hated. I didn't like it, but. And this one and the 1960s one with Adam West. No, it's weird. Don't, and it's like the campy version in this. Go figure. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, that was in 30 minutes, by the way. Trust me, it slows down. Uh, fuck any and all Frank Miller shit. I think I pretty much did that. Oh no, YouTube's gonna do something to me because I said horrible words. This is why I hope I never get, if I ever get a thought, I swear to God, if I get And to any freaking NPC SJWs who might hear my shit, fuck yourselves. Here's the, here's the news. I'm not popular enough to give a damn about you, and even if I was, I wouldn't give a damn about you. There's my political thing, moment of the entire video, and I will not care the rest of the way. So anyway, fuck any and all Frank Miller shirt. So much padding. There's, I, I've already talked about the padding. Uh, Lex Luthor ticked me off when he said Prometheus was hit with a lightning bolt. No, Prometheus was actually tied to a freaking mountain where an eagle constantly, f or falcon. I've heard both. One of them freaking tears out his liver, which frankly should just... Oh, yes. And then Bruce and Clark, their first meeting at... Oh, their first meeting at 
Lex's party. Clark, where Clark really at, talks to Bruce about Batman being a, being a danger and Bruce telling him, well, that's good. That's nice state. hearing it from the, someone from the Daily Planet. He has a point. I mean, Superman in this movie completely always, always goes for the brutality moments. No, I scratch that. Not in this movie. Man of Steel. Always with the brutality moments. It's weird. I really don't like it. Um, Bat <laughs> the Batman. Oh, God. Oh, God. The car scene. The ch freaking chase scene. Batman puts a homing device. Oh, I'm skipping, aren't I? Yeah, the, well, they ain't much, much crap. Clark goes off. The whole Messiah thing where he saves people from a burning building but doesn't... Up doesn't put the fire out while everybody wants to touch him, wants to grope him. It's like, it's like, I want to touch you. I want to touch you. Right there. Right there. Oh, Superman. Everybody wants to touch Superman because everybody thinks he's Jesus or some crap. I want you to touch me. I want you to kiss me. I want you to hold me tight. Uh, <laughs> oh, shoot. Where was I? Yeah. Wonder Woman. Well, the, I said at the beginning on, in the first one, and I really liked um, Godot as Wonder Woman. Shame she didn't get much more to do than whatever she would, did, but mm. um, more useless padding and dreams. I don't know if this is the part where he starts dreaming of. Flash coming into his thing and going, You need to save me. Lois is the key. Lois is the key. And it's like, Mm-hmm. 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 Keep advertising. Like I said, an hour of this blasted... This movie had no business being two and a half hours long. It really didn't. It was such a goddamn freaking advertisement for future movies that may or may not appear. And it's like, and the worst part is, none of the freaking characters that happened in this, that appeared in this movie, Psych. Um, like Wonder Woman's the only one that came out of this movie relatively unscathed from what I understand, other than, I haven't seen it as I said, but the um, last third of the movie which, that's great, because um, almost half of this movie, one-third of this movie, shouldn't have happened either. Um, let me see what time I'm at. Um, all right. Well, we'll continue this in part three. Um, yeah, yeah, like, subscribe, uh, YouTube stuff. Uh <laughs> I'm sorry if I feel sound a little bit mm, like I, you know what? See you in part three, guys. We'll be. God damn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. See you in part three.